Hello, Susie. Hello, Susie. Oh my gosh, we're here. And for the first time since 2019, I call the drummers and the banners to come on in. Oh, drummers. They're shy. Through your masks, say, hey, drummers. Hey, drummers. Let's see if they hear us now. I mean, we could start drumming ourselves, right? Any minute now. There. Here they come. Woo! Woo!
Thank you so much to our drummers led by Star and Jeanette Muir. Thank you to our banner people. Thank you all. It is so good to see your shining faces. Well, at least this much of your faces. And still the eyes are the windows to the soul. And your souls are beautiful. I'm the Reverend Kimberly Debus. I am the new Nurture Director, and it is my honor to welcome you here at Western Carolina and welcome those of you tuning in virtually. This has been a difficult year, following a couple of really difficult years, but we've made it to this point. Some of us here in the auditorium, some of us at home, some taking care of themselves in other ways. All of us, each of us a part of the SUSE community. We are all SUSE. I'm grateful. I'm grateful for the excited and energetic SUSE children who remind us, yes. who remind us that life calls us on and the future is ahead of us. It's a future full of giggles and shrieks and wiggles and optimism. I'm grateful for the overwhelmed Susie parents. Yes. Those who have raised and are raising children in these extraordinary times. I'm grateful for the cautiously optimistic Susie teens and young adults who are trying to figure out what future lies ahead of them and what the future holds for them as they find their footing in this scary and uncertain world. I am grateful for the worn out Susie adults who are just doing their best. <laughs> And I am grateful for the loving Susi elders who ground us and remind us all the things come and go, but there is still so much that we have to give and so much that we here need. I am grateful for the gracious ministers and religious educators and musicians and other religious professionals of Susi that have held our hearts and our spirits in care and continue to. I am grateful for the utterly exhausted SUSE leaders and staff members and volunteers and the Western Carolina staff too. These people who are doing their best to ensure an experience that brings us together in all the ways that we are together, reminding us constantly of grace, of gentleness, and gratitude. We are Susie. Let's say it together. We are Susie. We bring our past represented by this vial of water from all the previous SUSE locations, molecules that join this space, this present, this water that is in our water bottles, that is in the streams and waterfalls near us, that is near those who are online, our homes. We bring these things together and it's not been the same and it will never be exactly the same. We are out of practice. As I said to a group of SUSE core staff members a couple of months ago, we forgot how to SUSE. <laughs> but I think we're beginning to remember. Maybe some of you have already had the moment that you're like, oh, I'm here now was a person you saw or a thing you did or something someone said. But however we are gathered, we are strengthening our beloved community and our connections to one another. 
We make room for our memories to meet our present and show us the possibilities of our future. We are Susi. And as Susi, we care together, we learn together, we do better together, we mourn and we struggle together, and of course, we celebrate together. <laughs> I've invited Sarah Gonzalez to light our chalice. We light this flame as a symbol of all that we are together in gratitude for Susi. Come, let us give thanks together. Amen. And let us give thanks together in song, led by tomorrow's concert hour performers, Friction Farm. got shorter. Maybe you've gotten taller. I do feel taller since I arrived here. It's been a minute since we've been together. So this is an opportunity for you to warm up your Susie voices and sing with us. Jump in as soon as you can. All right. precious day for those gathered here and those far away for the time we share with love and care oh we give thanks for this precious day oh we give thanks for this precious day gathered here and those far away for the time we share with love and care oh we give thanks for this precious day you sound good oh we give thanks for this precious day for those gathered far away for the time we share with love and care oh we give thanks for this precious day oh we give thanks for this precious day thanks So as it turns out, one of the things we forgot we had to do was get a permit for candles. <laughs> but we have some electronic ones, I hope. And if we don't right now, we will. And we can imagine the flame. So much is in our imaginings. <sighs> Progress, not perfection, right? We're. <laughs> <clears throat> yes. Well, here we are. <laughs> so our theme, gratitude, echoes through everything we say and do. Showing gratitude is often saying a kind word or sending a note. Remember your thank you notes? Grandma made you write out. Yeah. Tipping is gratitude, offering help in return for kindness, paying it forward. We do these actions. But how do you represent gratitude? This is the question we asked ourselves in our remar yeah, let me try that again. Our remarkable textiles maven, Elizabeth Shell said to me, well, we help with the laundry, we wipe a tear, we mend socks, we sew and knit, we cuddle in blankets, we make banners, we let our flags fly. 
And so we said, yes, let us think about the ways that we show gratitude and use the things that are so on us to show our gratitude. So we're going to use these to help us represent who's here and who's on Zoom. Because whatever size we are, wherever we're attending from, this community is diverse in its sizes and places of origin. So let's see. Let's find out where y'all are from. Now, I'm going to blame Elizabeth. She only had so much room for flags. I had separated locations out. So some of you are put together and you don't want to be, but <laughs> deal with it, right? So let's have a cheer for those who are from Virginia and the Carolinas. And how about a cheer for those from Tennessee, Kentucky, and West Virginia, those states that border us? All right. How about the Middle Atlantic states, D.C., Baltimore, Delaware, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, New York, Maryland? We have some who travel from New England. Here's where it's, here's, here's where it's on. The Deep South and Florida. <laughs> People from the Midwest, the Great Lakes, the center Midwest, the Midwest. We have some here from Canada. And some who are from further west and some who are from further east. So let's give them a hand. We have people from all over. It's amazing. And we have people who have been coming here for ages, and some for whom this is their first Susie. So maybe you grew up here, or you raised your kids here, met your partner here. Maybe you've done all three here. Maybe you're just finding your people, realizing how important this community is for you. Maybe. This community has always been important to you. I know it's made a world of difference for me as I start my seventh SUSE. So let's hear those who are here for the first time in person. And we can't hear from them, but let's give a big shout out to those who are virtual. Woo! Been here one to five years. All right. Okay. And you celebrated because you put the pin in the six to ten years. That's me. Woohoo! Who counts eleven to fifteen? Nice, nice. Fifteen to twenty? All right, it's getting bigger. 21 to 50. And who has been here for 50 years or more? Anybody? Yes, Alexis, woo! It's 72 years of SUSE, and we keep coming back. So many amazing people. And what that means is that there is so much possibility. I want to call out another of our concert hour performers, Laura Herskovich, who brings us a great song of possibility. Hi. Hi. How many times have, have you been to Susi? Like 0 .0364 days, something like that? Yeah. It's my first one. Thank you for making me feel welcome. <laughs> you wings. I wish you wings. 
wish for everyone here and myself that you get to do and be who you are that you get to share your superpowers with this world that's asking us all to show up and shine I wish you wings the holy grail way over there nothing here but empty canyon and open on the ledge at the edge someone tells me if i can take that step the path appears in the stillness in my periphery something calling i wonder what it will be looking for the through line leaning on any good sign that tells me i am right on time Right on time. I'm working on my wingspan, doing all I can. Working on my wingspan mm -hmm. to be. my whole life fighting for my voice well, some say walk away but I never had that choice I will stand with the poets you know where to look I will search for wisdom between the lines of any book and I will sing my life right out to windshield wipers metronomes and you Susie you all those things that help to get me through and yeah, I'm moving to a better view working on my wingspan doing all I can working on my wingspan what the future brings because there is magic in the offering don't know when and i don't know why but somehow the ground beneath my feet turned into sky I'm stretching out my wingspan to become who I am, mm -hmm. who I am. Hello, Susie. <laughs> I'm Amy Davis, the director of Susie for 2021 and 22. I've. <laughs> it was just raised to my attention there might be people in the audience who have removed their mask. And I might just switch my speech around a little and lead with that. Um, we're here to care for each other. It's an incredible honor and a gift that we're here. I really need you to mask in this Bardo Auditorium.
in gathering often makes me tear up because it's this whole body wow. It's like I'm here with my people. I'm filled in a room with my people. I'm home. This year it feels incredibly precious. Here we are, and how I've missed you. I am so grateful for you. In these past two years, I've, two, I've noticed two major changes in myself. I've learned to prioritize what brings me meaning and joy, and I've learned to be more flexible. You'll find a lot of new things this, Susie, and I think you may find that you actually prefer some of them. For example, everything's much closer together. I think you'll find Susie will feel more intimate and more connections will happen. Serendipity will be at Hillside Grind. We'll have a lawn to spread out on. We may even get to dance in the rain. I hope that happens. <laughs> if you're registered for a nature trip, you may choose to drive your own car or ride with a friend. You might want to stop on the way back for a cup of ice cream instead of rushing back to the cafeteria. Some of the changes may not feel fun at times, so please be gentle with one another and with yourselves. I ask you to be mindful at all times that we must be gentle with the WCU staff. <laughs> and that is harder than it sounds. If you imagine 400 or even 100 well-meaning SUSE people in the cafeteria, for example, coming up to a staff member and saying, we're out of coffee, you know, or the soft serve machine is empty. We don't realize the impact that we're having, but we have made WCU dining staff cry. And not just here, it's happened at Radford, it's happened at Virginia Tech. Yeah. That is not who we are. We're not gonna do that anymore. We cannot be the summer camp that has a reputation of being so entitled that no other college wants to host us. This is the year we're gonna change it. So, we have implemented a SUSE helpline staffed by one amazingly prepared volunteer, Gail Cyan. <laughs> who will help get, she will help correct get you directed to the correct SUSE staff member, member to efficiently solve your problems. And here's a story that really touched me. Yesterday, an early arrival SUSE vegetarian, I'm a vegetarian, was pretty upset to find bacon in the rice and beans. And she was riled up and she was maybe ready to tell somebody on staff about it. And her friend observed her and said, that's not what we're doing this year. We're calling the SUSE helpline. And the SUSE dining coordinator, Jenny Sanders, was paged, who spoke to the manager, and they had the dish clearly labeled, contains bacon. I love that story so much. <laughs> it's a loving intervention that made a big difference towards preserving our future at WCU. I ask that you think of yourselves as guests in, in the home of someone who has taken you in. You would feel grateful for their hospitality you would forgive any shortcomings and respond with grace. And I ask you to care for one another. We are all vaccinated. I personally called quite a few of you. <laughs> you tested, that reduces our risk, but it's not foolproof. Just today we sent home a few core staffers. We are, we are all tested and some of us are still gonna get sick. Uh, prior to SUSE, I've spoken to friends who had gotten COVID recently, some at GA actually, and they all said the same thing, which was they felt a little off for a few days before all of a sudden they realized it's time to test. Please, during that time, you may be testing negative, wear a mask and just protect your intentional community. Keep as many of us possible, healthy, and able to stay here at SUSE. My dear intrepid friends, you came here to Susie, I'm so grateful to be here with you.
I'm grateful for your love for one another and for your community. Let us lead with gratitude. Since I get the job of saying all the hard things today, um, the dining manager has asked me to say they, they have boxes, which is awesome. Um, don't eat dinner and then take a box back to someone else or back to your room. The boxes are meant for you to fill up, eat outside. Also, don't take a box and eat in the cafeteria because we, we don't have that many boxes. So, thank you. So, next I'd like to introduce Sarah Gonzalez, our Susie Vax... Part Oh, so sorry. You may hear a little more about that in a minute, but it's 888-SUSIE22. Uh, okay. And our SUSIE vaccine coordinator, Sarah. Hi, SUSIE. It is so good to be here with you today. <laughs> Susie during a pandemic might look a bit different than Susie in the before times, but the heart of Susie still remains because the heart of Susie is the community we build when we gather together, a community that is based on love and mutual care. When you wear your mask, when you take a COVID test, when you pay attention to your body and take precautions if you start to feel ill, you are physically embodying the heart of Susie. By showing that you want to keep every one of us safe and healthy. Some of us may get sick this week because there is no way to have a risk-free Susie in the current landscape. But through each of our actions, we can make this number as small as possible. Thank you for caring for this community. I am so glad you are here. Christine from Friction Farm made us a little flame. <laughs> Nothing can keep us down, right? And nothing can keep us, keep down our next singer, next concert, our performer, someone whose music really inspired a lot of us and got spread in a lot of our congregations during the pandemic. I'm so grateful for Thursday night's concert, our performer, Leah Morris. <laughs> this is a call and response. So when I sing a line, I hope that you will feel so inclined as to echo it back to me. And I want to invite you to, if you've got rhythm, if you've brought your rhythm with you. And if you've forgotten your rhythm at home, that's fine. If you're here in this place or if you're at home and you're hearing this song right now, I want to invite you. When we get to the part where I start doing this because it happens kind of automatically, to loosen your body up and, you know, move. If you were alive in the 80s, you can do the snake. You can do the snake if you were alive in the, at any time. And maybe snap it up or tap your feet. Just feel the music. Let it flow. Flow with it. Freedom is your birthright. Yeah. Freedom is your birthright. grow in freedom. freedom. I bless your freedom. 
need them now. So perfect. Freedom to love. Yeah. Freedom to live. Free to receive and free to forgive. You know what? I got one of those too. Let's do it. Freedom is our birthright. Freedom is our birthright. We So I want to take a moment as your nurture director to give you an easy mnemonic to help yourself and others be kind and thoughtful and generous to everyone else. If you're feeling cranky, if you're out of sorts, you're at sixes and sevens, you just don't know what to do, tell yourself to halt. H-A-L-T. And you ask yourself these halt questions. Are you H-hungry? Well, if you're hungry, right, okay, or hangry, go get yourself a snack. Thank God the dining hall is open from 6.30 in the morning until 8 o'clock at night, right? Thank you, WCU, for extending those hours, right? A, are you angry? Well, might be time to walk it off or take a break or maybe call somebody like one of our chaplains or the minister of the day, right? Are you L, lonely? That can happen here. Surrounded by people, sometimes we feel lonely. So go where there are some people, whether it's the courtyard or the dining hall or a lounge or paradise. And hey, if you see somebody sitting alone or looking a little, a little lost, ask them if they want a company. Ask them if they want to take a walk, play a game, do something. And T, H-A-L-T, are you tired? I mean, okay, we're all really tired already, right? Okay. But sometimes we're more tired than others, and it's so okay to skip stuff. Take a nap. Relax in your room. Just stare at the mountains. Now, I highly recommend doing that. Finding a nice place, sit, sitting with a book on your lap that helps because people don't bug you because they think you're reading. <laughs> Relax. H-A-L-T. Are you hungry? Are you angry? Are you lonely or are you tired? There are solutions for all of those things. 
Now, I know that some of you, and thank you very much, have signed up with the Covenant Accountability team to be ambassadors. You've got cats, people with cat buttons. They're there to check in with folks, help people, help be a loving Susie presence. So thank you. And if you want to be one of those people, I encourage you to seek out the Covenant Accountability team during community time every day. And of course, if you need more help or you aren't sure, remember that there are lots of folks who can help. And I'm going to invite them on the stage now so you can see their beautiful faces. There are core staffers, board members, other staffers, ministers of the day. Come on up. Some are backstage, some are over here, some are scattered. Some aren't going to come, and that's okay too. I want you to see the faces of these beautiful people who love Susie as much as you do and have given of their time and their talent and a few of their treasure. Huddle up, huddle up. There's a lot of you. Look at all the peoples. Look at all the peoples. So, if you are a board member, raise your hand. Board members, woohoo! Board members, they're here. They have guided us and stewarded us and helped us become and keep going. If you are a core staff member, raise your hand and hoop and holler. Woo! Me too. The board tells us what to do. No, I'm kidding. I mean, they do, but they don't, right? But this is the staff that I am privileged to serve on that has made a lot of this happen. We also have members of the Covenant Accountability Team. You shall know them by their be kind hats. And we have ministers on duty, people who serve as ministers on duty. Woo! That's me too. One down here too, woo -hoo. We also have chaplains who serve in the age groups. There we are, look at the chaplains! And there are other support staff as well who are here, other, t other staff members, office. Anybody else wanna whoop and holler? It's with us. All right. These people have been working on making the conditions right for a loving, kind, covenantal, safe, and enjoyable Susie, and they're here for you. These are the people to contact instead of Western Carolina University. <laughs> These are the people to talk to if you have questions. And there are ways to get them, but golly, there was only one number we could call. Just one number. Uh, what's going on? Hello, Susie. Woo, feel that energy. That's awesome. If there's something strange, in your dorm bedroom. Who are you gonna call? Susie Helpline. You can see something weird and it don't look good. Who are you gonna call? Susie Helpline. I ain't afraid to go boast. North Carolina is a great host. Your workshop's changed and you've been misled. Who are you gonna call? Thank you. You have COVID fears running through your head. Who are you gonna call?
afraid to go boast. Western Carolina is a great host. Check up. Uh, where is that kid's grown up? Someone forgot to clean up? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Who are you gonna call? Thank you. You've lost your meal card and you've looked real hard. Who are you gonna call? Thank you. Questions, feedback, and good cheer. It's something new this year. The information's all here. One last time, everybody. Who are you going to call? Susie Helpline. Thank you, everybody. And remember, if you can't remember the Susie Helpline, look down at your name tag. It's right there. If you can't remember 888 Susie 22, it's right there. We've got it. We can do this. Remember that the Helpline is there to answer your immediate questions and get you connected to someone who can help. And helping one another and working with one another in this endeavor to build beloved community is, well, as a popular Unitarian Universalist Covenant says, service is our prayer. Concert Hour performer Deidre McCullough offers her prayer with us. set up maybe mine's over here <laughs> um, I was today years old when I came to my first sushi sushi <laughs> and I've written the cross on my uh, calendar Joe Jenks said I had to do this so <laughs> um, there are many different ways to pray um, some people get down on their knees some people go for a walk. Some people clean the kitchen. It's a form of prayer. It puts things in order. And sometimes we pray by dancing. Days 
as we try to grasp how the answers are less prime than the questions asked. Time holds us in a soft embrace and gives each waking moment some small share. joins them in forms our faith if you need a place to shelter come join the dance that's how we pray nothing's ever promised we've learned how to survive by choosing to make caring for each other be the guy our wounds are deep and so's our laughter the thread that joins them in forms our faith if you need place to shelter come join the dance that's how we pray our wounds are deep and so's our laughter the thread that joins them informs our join the dance that's how we pray come join the dance that's how we pray Good evening, Susie. How are you all tonight? Oh, sorry, I've been told I'm a soft talker. <laughs> Can you hear me now? Yeah. Awesome. I would like us to actually do me a favor. And I would like us to take three deep breaths together to ground me, if you don't mind. So together, breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. One more time. How beautiful you all are. It is so good. <laughs> I am Angel Wall, the CC board president. <laughs> And I am nervous as I'll get out. <laughs> um, I'm going to try to do this properly. Um, 2019 seems like a lifetime ago. In that lifetime ago, we have lost loved ones. We have had babies be born. Children have gone to kindergarten for the first time. Young adults have started new jobs, which is frightening because I know some of those young adults. Um, <laughs> And this week we'll celebrate all of those. New lives, new life changes, and the lives we have lost together. This week we'll be together after two years of, hold on, sorry, <laughs> two years of being apart. Amy said there were gonna be some changes like living closer together, and I think that'd be a good thing. We would get to know each other in a more intimate way. And it might be a little frustrating and may bring a little anger, but I promise 
these changes are for the best. They are because we are together this week. We have not been together in a very long time. And these are the, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, compromises, there we go, that we had to make to be together this week. We are here in love. Together we will dance, sing, worship, play, and maybe cry. Both tears of sadness and tears of joy. We will do this together as a home to so many, as a future home to so many more, as a beloved community. I have missed you all so much. This week, you have turned to us. I love you. But do you know why? Because you breathe. Welcome home, Cece. The art of making may start in the invisible space of our imaginations, but is never fully formed there. We revise, tweak, tweak undo, redo. redo. We make mistakes which lead us down other roads. The tools and context speak to us and inform our creating. The characters form their own opinions about the plot. The notes surprise us with new harmonies. The coffee leaves a stain on our scribbled plans. All, All of it feeds into, into the, the process, process of the, the act of creation. Those of us who create in, in community, community, collaborating with others, we know this messy give and take process on a whole other interconnected, interconnected beautifully chaotic and improvisational level. But what about the act of creating beloved community? Building connection. Intentional, intentional covenanted relationship. It is paying close attention to details as a process. Like any work of art, <coughs> it is messy, unexpected, unexpected rigorous, difficult. difficult. It takes interaction, interaction play, gathering, gathering together, and a whole lot of constant revision. Sometimes, we get it right. And sometimes we fall on our face. With Susie, we put up our community tent for a week and participate in this ritual collaboration that is also always part experimentation of being and becoming beloved, beloved community. community. And of course, our big tent has many smaller tents. We are many smaller circles of community and experiences in one larger one. And it's messy. And it's awkward. <laughs> it's holy and beautiful. When we get it right. When the tent is raised high, the stakes are driven in well. This thing called Susi. It can break our hearts open and heal some of the places that may have been broken within us for a long time. And we never go home empty-handed or alone. We take these scraps of home, this, this tent, tent, the new games, new, new friendships, friendships, new memories, new songs, the, the building, building and, and rebuilding and tending and, and mending, mending, this sweet little thing calling, calling us, us home. home. It's all the same, even if it's all different. 
to just take a moment, take a good look around. The faces and names still at the heart of it. The soul and the substance of this treasure we've found. Come on out. Welcome home. So just settle in, oh, let your feet be still, feel your heart crack open his door, let the comfort begin, you know you can take your fill, there's not only enough, there's plenty and more. they have to let you in no matter what you've done no matter where you've been home is the place the love is strong and true It's all different, so just no stranger here, only family and friends. No matter how much has changed, we've made our way back again, back to this place where the loving begins. 